Hi, fishy folks, and welcome back to another video. Today, a vlog. Lots of stuff going on in the fish room. Want to tell you about it. We got some stuff going on with the wall as well. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. If you're new here, my name is Michael, and this is my fish room. It's in my basement. I have about 60 tanks down here. I uh, breed, import, and uh, sell guppies and plecos out of this fish room from my website, michaelsfishroom.com. And uh, today we're going to have a vlog, which is a basically a tour, me talking to you about what's going on here in my fish room. So uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the wall because there's, there's progress. I'm gonna show you some update on some uh, fish from that import order that I got. I'll put a link up here for you. You can check that video out. And uh, I'm gonna be feeding some rapashi food. Um, there's been some, some talk on some of the sites about what is rapashi and you know, how do you make it? It's, it's really easy. So uh, real quick, rapashi is just a gel food. It comes in a powder. You add water to it, boiling water to it, then you let it sit either in the fridge or out until it solidifies, which takes about an hour or so. Uh, and then you feed it and it sinks down to the bottom and pretty much everybody loves it. There's different flavors. Uh, this is Agapo Explorer, it's called. I think I pronounced that right. Um, and I feed this to everybody. Um, I also have my favorite flavor, Morning Wood. <laughs> Uh, which is really good for plecos and catfish and stuff like that. And of course, there's cumin. I mean, there's all different kinds. Check out uh, Rapashi Superfoods. I get mine from my boy Keith at KGE Aquatics. Um, Keith's a great guy. Um, check him out, KGE Aquatics on Facebook. He sells plants and he's got the best wood in the business. And Rapashi and other foods as well. So check my boy Keith out. And I'll be feeding that and I'll show you how I do it in a little while as well. So... Uh, why don't we, without further ado, because I know you guys are waiting, let's take a look at the wall progress. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. For those of you that don't know, uh, my fish room is about 10 by 18, give or take. And uh, when I first started, I was cheap, and I bought these moving blankets from uh, Harbor Freight. And that's what I used to separate my fish room from the rest of the basement, right? And, and now my fish room's gone through many changes, but... It's pretty much how it's going to stay. It, it's not actually, it's messy, but it's not really that bad. My workbench, you can actually see. Typically, the dipping pours would be up on the tanks, but I'm going to show you the tanks in a minute. So I, I wanted to take them down so they weren't in the way. But anyway, uh, I have my boy Taco here, uh, who's a King Kong for flower horn. If you're interested in flower horns, uh, send me an email. Uh, email is in the description down below. I give you some pricing and get you some videos of some different ones that I have access to. Anyway, uh, I know Taco, my flower horn, is in a 20 gallon, just loving it, loving the attention, and it's too small. And uh, as you know, if you watch the channel, I wasn't planning to get a flower horn, it was a complete accident. Um, it was sent to a friend of mine who didn't want it, and uh, but it was sent through me, so I ended up keeping it. So part of the issue with the wall is i needed a four foot i want to put them in a four foot tank either a 75 or a 90 if i can find a 125 cheap enough i'm going to put it right here so let's without further ado let me show you the wall and the progress this is the rest of the basement basement so there's the wall here's the space i'm going to have as an example my my plan is to have uh so so i have to watch out for that pipe that's for the the uh house remediation for the french drain and, and stuff and uh, I'm going to have a four-foot tank here. There's going to be enough room for the door that's going to be here. And then uh, this sink, which was next to the washing machine, is actually going to be in my fish room now. So I sort of have to replumb the, the drain. I got to figure out how to move that. I got to figure out how to move the, you know, the, the sink in here. I already redid all the plumbing. It's a little bit of a mess because I have an extra set of lines as I'm working on my fish room for the, the water there. But not too bad. So yesterday, my buddy John came over. He's a, a, a union carpenter. He knocked us out in a few hours. Eh, it was probably more like like six hours. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to go shopping and get some, some drywall and the door and maybe some insulation and go from there. So you can see we're doing laundry. All right, back to the fish room. So that's, that's the story with that. Uh, I know... 
for all the snowflakes that say he's in a too small tank. Right now he's fine. I'm gonna put a four foot tank there. Uh, like I said, a 75 or a 90, maybe a 125. I can find one cheap enough and he'll be happy. Now what I do with the rest of the space is a whole nother question. Uh, I'll probably keep the bottom shelf empty for storage. And then I think I'm gonna have his tank and then on top I'm gonna have maybe tens or maybe twenties like this. And I'm considering stocking some flower horns. I've had a lot of interest. I've already sold a few. They're very high quality. They're not the, you know, the $50 flower horns you buy at, at you know, a crappy pet store. They're, they're high quality imported flower horns, very healthy, you know, very nice. So they're a little bit more expensive. We won't talk prices just yet, but you know, so I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking, folks. Stay with me. Bear with me as I'm thinking. Bottom shelf uh, for storage, maybe about a foot or foot and a half off the ground. Chewy's tank. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Taco's tank. And then on the top, smaller tanks for breeding. Now, I may reverse that. I may put Taco's tank in the middle and the the... I'm sorry, the, the small tanks in the middle and Taco's tank up top because it would be easier to get into the, you know, these tanks if they were lower. So the reason I'm not going to put tanks in the bottom is I've been uh, designing the plumbing in my head. And so the plumbing is going to go uh, here around the back and then uh, a drain going to my, my sump behind the system back there. So, all right, I I'm babbling. Let's take a look at the new fish from the, the order I got. These are not bluegrass. These are... Uh, Japan blue blue tail is what they're called, I believe. And these are uh, yellow king cobras. Now, I just want to say, um, when you, as an importer, um, it's very important to quarantine and keep them for a certain amount of time to make sure they're healthy and they're used to fresh water. Now, I've added salt to these tanks, uh, and I, I add salt every few days, and I lower the amount of salt so they're they're much much more used to just fresh water. So this order happened to be my biggest and also so far the best. I, I did have one problem with one strain, uh, which I'll talk about in a second, but but the half black whites, the blue grass, well, the Japan blue, blue tails, the yellow king cobras, the black midnights. Uh, these are, let me move Chewy's tail. These are the koi red ribbons. Now let's talk about these koi red ribbons. A uh, very smart young lady named Sadie says these are orange, and she's jumping up and down. Sadie, they're red. See, look, the name is red. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are these red or orange? All right, folks. Uh, I got these purple dragons, which everyone is drooling over. Um, these probably will be in an extended quarantine because they are pretty skinny, and I want to make sure they don't have... Uh, they're as healthy as possible for you. So obviously I'm treating for internal parasites for everybody right now using everything aquatic Levamisol flake. Um, but they're doing well. I, I haven't had any die off except for one strain, which we'll get to in a second. These are the blue pandas also uh, doing quite well. Uh, the females are quite bland, but, but pretty active actually. And I'm very happy with the size of the males. And then here we have the Dumbo Red Tails. Look at, look at this guy. I mean, I, uh, I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait. These were like, he, he gave these to me as like a, hey, see how they sell them? Like they're going to sell. Look at the females. She's spectacular. She's got the, the hot tail. She's got dorsals. Oh, hold on. I need a second. Okay. Um, and then over here, we have the half black blues looking quite nice. Uh, really, really no issues here. Um, quite a few males to females, but, but looking great. And then here's where we had the problem. We had some die off here in these Dumbo mosaics. So these also will be an extended quarantine. Uh, you can see the water's quite cloudy from some meds I put in there. Um, and yeah, and then, you know, we got a few more tuxedo koi's, no problem there. I know there's some, some light ones in there, which is fine for me. And then uh, all these half black red roses, I think I had like, I don't know, two pair left of the uh, 50 pair I got last time. And so uh, these guys are doing also well. And actually I've sold, I think 10 pair of these already. So don't forget we have uh, angels here at Michael's Fish Room. Uh, these are homegrown angels. If you're interested, they're on the website. You can just tell me what colors you want and I'll pick as best as I can for you, so. Uh, let's talk about mutts. 
I love Big Mutts and I cannot lie. Norm, all on you, buddy. Uh, I sold a poop ton of mutts this week. I hadn't sold much in a while. You might notice the hose here. I was just doing a manual water change on that tank because it's quite cloudy. It's quite overcrowded. Um, let me show you how I do that, though, while you're here, right? So here's here's my setup. Uh, I just have a T off my uh, main water line, and it comes down pecs here to the, the shark bite. Um, pet cock right here, which is on. And then this is what I use to control it because with my hand issues and this, it's hard to make sure it's open and closed all the way. And I wanted to make sure I shut it all the way because I did leave it open once, just a, just a, a hair. And uh, we have water everywhere, so we don't want to do that. So obviously uh, this leg of the Y is on. This this leg I use to when I'm, I'm selling fish or bagging fish or I need an extra uh, uh, hose. But so basically I turn this on and let's look over here. And the water goes in and that's that. Uh, sometimes I take water out if I'm doing a manual water change, but usually I just turn the water on and I, I let it go while I'm working. So we're gonna do that uh, as we're looking at other tanks. But I sold, I literally sold like 30 mutts out of here. No, I had one order that had 30. And I think, I think I sold about 40 mutts out of here. And now the tank looks empty, um, which I'm not too happy about because I love the mutts. They're my favorite. So. We got we to gotta boost up the muttness in this tank, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Muttness. That's a pretty funny word. Anyway, I'm babbling because uh, I said the word muttless. Anyway, so that, that goes on up there. Then I come over here. Boop! It's off. Water change done. I don't know what was that. A couple gallons. It's fine for now. That does it, fishy folks, for the, uh, the vlog. We got the mutts. We got the new guppies. We got the wall. We got the rapashi. Oh, let's feed some rapashi. So... Let me show you what I got here. So this is this is a little mini ice cube tray. I'll put a link down below uh, from Amazon. It is will be an affiliate link. I will make millions. If you want to help the channel, but you don't buy fish for me or you haven't bought a shirt or click this link and then do your Amazon shopping. And then I make a little shekels. And that's what's important to me, making the shekels. So I'll put a link. This is great. Uh, then I just use a little toothpick here to pull them out. They're little tiny cubes like this. And then, uh, where are we going to put it? Let's put it in this tank here because you'll be able to see it. And so this is that, that food that I showed you. But it, Pluckos will eat it. Guppies will, guppies will eat anything. But we're going to let the guppies uh, check that out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some more here. Let's come with me. Put some over here. See if I can put this in here without dropping it. Sorry for the camera work. You know I suck at it. Drop a couple cubes in here. And we'll drop a couple, see them, them falling, a couple cubes in here with the red cobras and the, uh, the plecos. Oh, I sold a poop ton of plecos too. I had that little sale. Um, I think I sold 30 regular bristlenose plecos out of this tank, this size, about an inch. Look at them going after it already. And then we got some over here. The guppies are going after, you can't see it because the tank's crappy. Let's put some in the Japanese blue. Oh. I had uh, somebody say that the, the Japan blue blue tails look like this. I, I don't really think they do. Um, those Japanese blues over there, they're pretty much endler size. I think people call them Japanese blue endlers, but um, they don't look anything like the Japanese blue blue tails over there. And yes, it's blue blue tail. I, I, I don't know why, but it is. No, we got more fry. Look at the little, little tiny itty. I was almost said baby fry, but dur. Look at the itty bitty fry a couple days old. Just coming out from the, the weeds in there, hanging, chilling. All right, folks. That's the Rapashi. Love the Rapashi. Check out my boy Keith at KG Aquatics on Facebook. Um, I'm not feeding the new fish any Rapashi. They're only getting the uh, the Levamisol Flake. People ask me, how long do I feed it for? Whatever the directions say. I, I follow the directions because... What did I do with the bag? I was going to tell you the directions. What did I... God... I hate, I hate getting old. I hate getting old. I thought I put it back. I can't find it. It, it. That's its spot right there. Next to the Dr. Basilier's Nano. I don't know what happened to it. Did it fall? I don't know. Anyway, back to the Rapashi. Look at the plecos go after it. Um, so, so the only thing I don't follow directions on are my quarantine procedure. And that's because that's what works for me. You know, there's a new... A uh, different quarantine procedure that I think Norm from Cookies Fish Room 
put a video out on. I'll put a link to that as well for you guys if you want to check that out. I have my quarantine um, regiment that I do. So, But other than that, if I'm using mids, I follow the, the, the directions. Obviously, it was designed using those directions to work. So why not follow them? So, you know, if you're going to ask me, how, how do you feed the food? Follow the directions on the package because those are smart people that made that. And I'm, I'm just a good-looking guy with a camera. So... All right, folks, that does it for me. I'm out. I'm gonna finish feeding this rapacha. I love these little cubes. I had bigger ones, and I used to have to like take it out and then break it. And uh, you know, I, I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to use these little toothpicks because they're cool. Feed some here, little toothpick, and a little. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at the fry. What's that, Dad? Let's check it out, Bob. Okay. All right, fishy folks. Babbling. Hope everything is good. Check out my fish. My, uh, my website, Michael's Fish Room. Hope you guys have a great day. You know, I have mine quarantine present, uh, uh, my, wow. So I just want to talk about Rapashi for a second. So I was talking about. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Oh, look, there's Indy. Hi, Indy. Start over. Welcome back, fishy folks. My name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. If you're new here, think about hitting that subscribe button and, of course, the notification bell. You must press that as well. Uh, here in Michael's Fish Room, I have about 60 tanks full of guppies and plecos that I breed and import. Um, and uh, yeah, don't know what to say. That's nice. So Rapashi, it's it's gel food. It's really easy to make. It's a simple formula, right? It's uh, boiling water and the powder, and it's one part powder to two to three parts water. So let's make it easy. That's right, I said water, because I'm from South Jersey. Water, 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 anyway. 